Welcome to this tutorial on the teleological argument for the existence of the universe. The teleological argument states that we can see complex designs with the purpose, order, regularity and other sorts of evidence in the world that suggests an intelligent, infinitely great designer created it. And we call this designer God. There are two goals we have for today's lesson. The first is to recognize and explain the teleological argument. And our second goal is to recognize the teleological argument from different perspectives. There are a range of key concepts that I'm going to use throughout this lesson. The first is a posteriori, which means based on our experiences of the world. Inductive. This moves from specific experiences of the world to a general conclusion about the world and it's based on probability. Natural theology. This is a branch of theology which argues from the natural world to reason for characteristics of God. Talos comes from the Greek language meaning end, purpose, goal or target. Design qua purpose. Arguments which seek to show that the universe has direction and a goal. Finally, design qua regularity. Arguments from a general pattern of order in the universe. Let's break open the teleological argument from different perspectives. Our first is Aristotle and the belief that he held that everything in the universe has a talos or a purpose. And Aristotle used the example of ducks and how they have webbed feet for the purpose of swimming faster. Aristotle noted that nature exhibited certain regularities and he concluded that there must be a guiding hand behind these regularities we see in nature. Our next perspective is from Thomas Aquinas, who was a scholar living in the 13th century. He sought to put forward a collection of related ways of demonstrating the existence of God through reason and through logic. His fifth way argues through an a posteriori knowledge and inductive logic that intelligent objects, like an arrow of an archer, can only be aimed towards a goal, like the target of an archer, with the guiding presence of an intelligent being, being the archer. This intelligent being, he argues, is God. It is a design qua purpose argument because it seeks to show that the universe has direction and a goal that is enabled by God. Next, William Paley put forward the idea in his book Natural Theology. The first part of his argument was design qua purpose and rests on a watchmaker analogy. If we found a watch in an empty field, we would assume that it had gotten there by some designer. By analogy, we could say the same about nature. The designer of the watch we find in the field is God. Let's have a look at the difference between Aquinas and Paley. Firstly, Aquinas. His argument to design. He states that objects seem to have a purpose. This purpose points to a designer, and that designer is God. Secondly, Aquinas uses the regularity of succession. Aquinas focuses on how one thing follows another according to the laws of nature, leading to particular results of purpose. William Paley focuses on an argument from design. From the order, purpose and regularity in the universe, there is a clear design apparent. From this design, we can conclude that there is God. And finally, the purpose argument. Paley focuses on the manner in which things fit together in a particular way for a purpose. He gives example like the human eye, an intricate mechanism of the human body. The eye is designed in such a way to create the ability to see. Let's review our key learning goals for today's lesson. Can you identify and explain the teleological argument? And can you recognize the teleological argument from the perspective of Aristotle, Aquinas, 
and paley.